Shalom. This is Ephraim Buckwald, ready to celebrate Labor Day and Labor Day weekend. I wish you all a good yontif, a very happy holiday and weekend. Uh, my friend Charlie, who was fired from the post office four times, actually says that work is a four-letter word, but work is very, very important. Labor Day was first celebrated in the 1880s in the United States and became an official holiday in 1894. The Torah, 3,000 years ago, speaks about the obligations of the employer and the obligations of the employee. So, for instance, an employer must pay his employee at the end of a day's work if that person is a day laborer. However, if he has an extended contract, he can wait till the end of the contract. But we see that the Torah takes into consideration what the obligations of the employer and employee are. Uh, the employer uh, has to allow the employee to take food, uh, to eat food, from the field that he's working in. But the employee is not allowed to put food into his pocket. Uh, the employee is allowed to pray during his work time, but he has to use an abridged prayer. He can't extend it to take away from uh, the labor that he's supposed to do. So there are all these rules 3,000 years ago, so the Torah is really ahead of its time. Uh, it must have been very, very difficult for American laborers before uh, the rules became somewhat civilized and uh, employees uh, were really worked to the bone. Uh, so it was very important that at least the employees had a day off, but that day was usually Sunday. For observant Jews, it was very difficult. And the rule was that if you don't come in on Saturday, don't come in on Monday. If the uh, Jew wanted to open up his own private business and work on Sunday, it was not allowed because of the blue laws. So we have to pay tribute to those uh, people who sacrifice so much in order to keep the Sabbath day. So we need to remember the uh, contributions of the workers in the United States of America uh, and in our country who helped build up this country. We salute the workers. Uh, we hope everybody has a pleasant and meaningful Labor Day and Labor Day weekend.